In finance, Black's approximation is an approximate method for computing the value of an American call option on a stock paying a single dividend. It was described by Fisher Black in 1975. Background The Black's goals formula provides an explicit equation for the value of a call option on a non-dividend paying stock. In case the stock pays one or more discrete dividend no closed formula is known, but several approximations can be used, or else the black skulls PDE will have to be solved numerically. One such approximation is described here. The method. Use the BS formula to compute the value of two European call options. A European call with the same maturity as the American call being valued, but with the stock price reduced by the present value of the dividend, and a European call that expires on the day before the dividend is to be paid. Now take the largest of the two values and above as the desired Black's approximation for the American call. The resulting value is sometimes called the pseudo-American value of the call. Example. Consider an American call option with X dividend dates in 3 months and 5 months, and has an expiration date of 6 months. The dividend on each X dividend date is expected to pay out 70 cents. Additional information is presented below. Find the value of the American call option. First, we need to calculate based on the two methods provided above in the methods section. Here we will calculate both of the parts. This is the first method calculation, which states, a European call with the same maturity as the American call being valued, but with the stock price reduced by the present value of the dividend, whereas the net present value of the dividends at the ex-dividend dates are the dividends on the ex-dividend dates is the risk-free rate of the market which we will assume to be constant for this example amount of time until the ex-dividend data division factor to bring the delta t to a full year, is the exponential function. Applying this formula to the question, the option price can therefore be calculated using the black skulls merton model where we'll discount the dividends from which I will denote by 4, the new value. The rest of the variables remain the same. Now we need to calculate D1 and D2 using these formulas where is the cumulative distribution function of the standard normal distribution is the time to maturity is the current price of the underlying asset is the strike price is the risk-free rate is the volatility of returns of the underlying asset in putting the values we get. This is the second method calculation which states a European call that expires on the day before the dividend is to be paid. This method begins just like the previous method except that this option's maturity is set to the last maturity before the last dividend. For the most part, the variables remain same except for the time to maturity, which equals so, recalling method price of from method, we see that the price of the American call option, as per Fisher Black's approximation, is the greater of the two methods. Therefore, the price of the option equals 